In working with a lot of the different universities throughout the world, one of the big things that I see is the, the, they have multiple issues as far as putting a plan together for how they're going to address AI integration into education. Now, of course, I came up with the, the nine point action plan, but one of the things that I find is that instructors and the university itself or whatever educational institution at, at, all, at all levels struggle with the definition of AI literacy as far as, well, what even makes it up, right? What are the components that put, put it together? So of course I've gone through and I've pushed my organization of it as far as the different components, right? In that I think it's extremely important for us to have awareness, to have capability, to have knowledge, and then as well as critical thinking. Those are the four fundamental things that I think are really important. And that comes from looking at all of the other research that's out there. And there's a lot dealing with AI literacy. The idea is by having these four components, it will cover all the different aspects associated with AI and really serve as foundational knowledge from which to build upon. I'm really happy to announce that here recently, a UN document came out, this is from UNESCO, and it's entitled AI Competency Framework for Students. This is really powerful because this is coming from UNESCO, from their research, from their observations, and this deals with the UN Specialized Agency for Education. So the idea here is that they're trying to coordinate an overall Education 2030 agenda. What I like about this is that they have gone through and they've broken down AI literacy, its framework, into sort of having four specific components. That is a human-centered mindset, which is very similar to awareness, which is one of my breakdowns for the competencies. Ethics of AI, which again is one of my competencies dealing with critical thinking. AI techniques and applications, very similar to the knowledge competency that I put in mine, and AI systems design. Again, very similar to mine dealing with capabilities. So that's really great and it makes me feel good because we are somewhat on the same sheet of music here, right? They're very similar. The way that I've organized things, the way that the UN has organized things as far as AI literacy. So that it should help people to understand that the way that I've broken it down, the way that I've organized it, makes sense and the UN is following, following suit with a very similar way of breaking down AI literacy and having their framework for it. Now this document is really powerful and really helpful for educational institutions because they can use that as a framework when they're talking about AI literacy, when they're uh, creating definitions for this as well. The document provides a, a good resource because it provides lots of different information, background, and then it also goes through and addresses each one of these key principles, the, its structures, and then it also has a nice understanding of application based off of different levels of Bloom's taxonomy. So we go everywhere from, from the, the bottom levels of understanding all the way to high levels of create and everything in between. So that really functions to help instructors, to help universities come up with different ways of creating courses or um, having different goals. They give examples of curricular goals, of student learning outcomes, learning environments. All these things are very beneficial for universities, for educational institutions in general, to come up with different ways to address this when they implement AI within their educational environment. So I strongly recommend this as a resource, as a, as a source, as well as my books, because again, you see how they're in a good alignment with what the UN has come up with. So uh, I wanna see your thoughts. What do you think about this? Is this a useful source for your educational institution? Please comment within this video so that we can have a conversation about this. Uh, like and share so that we can all develop. And remember, learning is for life. Mm -hmm.